Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about flying a radio controlled rocket glider. It has a G motor for power, wingspan about seven and a half feet and weighs about 43 ounces. And I also added a GPS data logger to get these really cool effects. Okay, let's look at the still and you'll see what I'm talking about. On the left hand side, bottom left, that's ground speed, not air speed, so don't get that confused. GPS can only calculate ground speed. At the top left is the actual flight to scale, and that red dot indicates where I am during the flight. If you look at top center, that's your compass heading. On the right hand side top is your uh, rate of climb indicator as measured in feet per minute. On the bottom right hand corner is your altimeter. Please note that this information is provided above sea level and not above the ground. Okay, let's watch the liftoff. Did you see the wires get caught in the V-tail? I think that pulled it to the ground. Watch it now in slow motion. You'll see what I'm talking about. Watch the wires. Three, two, one. I mean, if you think about it, I was committed on the takeoff regardless, so I just pulled the nose up and climbed out. Now one of the things I had an issue with is the glider is really tail heavy. I uh, took out too much nose weight so it's unstable in pitch and I really couldn't get a good flight out of it. Something wrong? When I make my next flight I'm going to have three Estes video cameras on board for the nose, the rear, and on the wing. So that should be a really cool video. I just need to get a decent flight and a decent takeoff. And things would be much better, I hope. <laughs> Yo, there it goes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to look up all my other videos about flying high-performance gliders, radio control, NASA, and a lot more. We'll see you in the air next time. Bye-bye.